plow truck. Got the uh, blade disconnected, got the lines disconnected. I just took a picture of where the cable threads were at just for future adjustment. All I have to do is take those cables, I gotta take both the covers back, or covers off, remove the cables, and then uh, remove that upper bolt there, and the lift ramp, and then remove this bottom bolt, which I actually made a special socket because um, that bolt under there, there is like, As you can see, there's not a lot of room in between there. So, a little socket that I made is I had to change that unit there, the bottom support. Um, and, um, and of course the electrical. Get those bad boys off of there and this thing will be ready to take over to the bench. There's the plow blade. This whole frame is totally worn out. Um, lots of wallow in there. Um, for some reason, I have a lot more play than I've ever had, it feels like. I feel like this thing is straight. These holes are wallowed out a little bit from the uh, angle rams. But this whole thing here needs to be addressed. There is so much play. Same thing with that. Also in the angle rams themselves, you know where the hole is on them, there's a lot of... So my dad, I think he's gonna help me bush everything. This almost looks bent. This is definitely bent up. So we gotta figure out what's going on with this bad boy. Um, I know this can move. You know, we've determined that this side, um, this side line is low pressure coming out. So we gotta take apart this block. But what I know is that the whole thing needs to be rebuilt because there's some seal material that's floating around in all of it. So come over here, I got, um, so this is the left side ramp and I can't even move it by hand. So guys, this, uh, this saga is just unfolding. I have no idea what's going on with this. We're gonna rebuild this cylinder, make sure it looks like how this one came together. Take a look at these. This thing has just gotten thrashed, so. Let's see what I need to do. By the way, shout out to the air compressor. I am finally doing an oil change in this bad boy. <laughs> I looked at it and the oil was about right here and I was running it just all the time. I added enough oil to here, I ran it, and then I've been draining it. So this uh, check plug there. Um, I probably wanna flush that a teeny bit more. I mean, there's a lot of crap that's dripping out. Look at that. I mean, just that right there. So let's run some, let's run some fresh oil through it a little bit more. So, pretty nasty stuff. This stuff, this stuff is honey colored, by the way. So, also doing an oil change here. I'm glad to get this in. I didn't think I was gonna be able to record this, but it's just a long time coming and should have been done a long time ago. So. All right, y'all. We're gonna get this thing figured out. Over now. All right, we have, just documenting this a little bit. This is our um, angle switch. This is gonna be your uh, four-way valve in this vicinity. What I'm gonna find, I believe, is some gunk in the, uh, the passageways, but also that left side cylinder is locked up. Feels like, I don't know why, but I can't even move it. And it was moving when it was <laughs> being activated. <laughs> So just doing a quick video. There's the threads, I haven't touched anything yet. Um, this one obviously had a bunch of water collecting. So I haven't had this apart yet, I don't think. This is the lift valve and it's working great. Um, there's the thread.
guys on that. So I'm going to remove each cable and then uh, remove the unit from the vehicle. I've already got this loosened up. I just gotta get the bottom after I get these to release. That's, that's what I'm gonna do now. It's important if you're doing this, doing this at home is to record the original you know, threads of everything. Get a really good picture. Um, at each level, I just video it. I do have to, the last thing I need to get is a couple of these. I need to get brand new plugs. And I'll melt these brass ones. <laughs> I also gotta drain this before I, before I um, take it off the truck. There's the drain. But we're not. All right, guys and gals, we are sitting good. I'm gonna fill it. Oops. All right, well, I have it. I have it on a couple of blocks here, so I'm gonna fill it just to the top of that circle. Monitor it, and uh, it's pretty much there. This is the uh, fill area, and uh, this is the um, oil amusing. Shout out, my dad gave it to me. This is where I actually got this air compressor. This thing was the one that my dad used when I was a kid. So, super glad to get the water out of the tank and to change the oil. Keep this US Air Campbell Housefield um, two horse rocket and roll. Shout out XL70. Dude, get this out of here. I had to use my special socket that I had to grind down because this, whoever built this frame to mount this didn't do it very well because they left no room to either get, this bolt is captured on this side and this nut was also captured until I made a thin wall socket that was big enough to get on it. So we got uh, the three eighths hooked up. <coughs> We're gonna see if this, this thing can turn and snort it off here. plan is, is we're gonna knock that bolt out this one's loose ready to go I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna, be able to, gonna be able to film it well I guess I could here let me set it up all right so we got this thing rolling and rattling another uh, view of the socket I made um, I just shaved quite a bit off but This has been off the plow truck since I've owned it. <laughs>
next on the list. We will re be rebuilding the unit. Um, this thing, <laughs> this side actually, I can't even move manually, so I'm gonna take that apart. Um, basically flush this this one out again, get all the, there's some sort of a seal that fell apart somewhere. But uh, I'll get the bench reorientated and get some room to work. And we'll, we will dismantle this unit. So, thanks for tuning in. Plow truck is looking mighty bare. This thing would look good with a with a custom bumper, like a. I'm, talking, I'm thinking like a all like a four wheel drive turbo setup. You know. <laughs> anyway, so thanks for tuning in.